Okay, uh, Dr. Neil Reardon, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. I know you're very busy. You're located uh, with a fantastic clinic there in uh, uh, Panama. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about this clinic and, and a little bit about yourself? Sure. Well, the clinic, we've been here uh, in Panama now for a little over 10 years. We've been open for 10 years. Uh, we have a, a 16,000 square foot GMP laboratory that we manufacture umbilical cord stem cells. And these, you know, there are two major types of stem cells, the ones in your bone marrow and then the ones found in your bone marrow and the rest of your body, which are the MSCs. Mm. So what we work with here are the MSCs and we get those from live healthy birth, after birth from live healthy births. And uh, we manufacture cell product in our laboratory, which are those MSCs that have been cultured and expanded and, and extensively tested. And then we, we're doing clinical trials. We have seven clinical trials. We just completed our multiple sclerosis trial, and that, that paper was published. Uh, we had very good positive outcomes with no, no serious adverse events. Uh, we finished our, our autism trial, and that's in publication right now. Oh, beautiful. Uh, we have a sort of arthritis trial going on. We're also studying uh, heart failure and um, uh, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, um, so, and, and also a, uh, another trial on asthma. So we're doing all those trials right now. And uh, we also we treat patients here. We've seen more than 4,000 people uh, since we opened here in Panama. Um, we've given over 27,000 infusions of umbilical cord MSCs. And... Uh, what we what we found is these things are very safe and they're they're very useful for people with chronic diseases. In fact, in my book, I I think I made the bold claim that the vast majority of of uh, chronic diseases are are a net result of either not enough MSCs in your body or dysfunctional MSCs in your body or or combination. Oh, wow. so we 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 treat these cells have. Every, everybody has a lot of these cells. When you're born, you have a, a large bank account of these cells, and, and it depletes with age. And, and rough, the rough estimates are that if you compare when you're 72 years old compared to when you were a baby, you have about 2% of the cell population. And um, we, we do that by looking at skin. These cells live around the capillaries of blood, blood vessels, small blood vessels in your body. And what happens is you, we lose those blood vessels as we age. And so the numbers go down dramatically. And if you look at a curve of, of vitality in human beings, it correlates very closely with the decline of the number of these cells. Oh. So these, the main job these cells do in the body is they stimulate regeneration, they decrease inflammation, and they modulate the immune system. So if you look at age-related diseases, they're pretty much all attributable, attributable to one or more of those factors. Wow, very, very exciting uh, information and news. I know you're one of the most uh, profound uh, doctors now in the, in the world, actually, on stem cell uh, treatments. And I know you're also into age reversal, and that's one of the reasons why you're, you're coming to RADFEST to speak uh, in, uh, this year uh, in San Diego. And again, we're very excited to have you there and speaking on this subject. Uh, what, so, so I heard now you're doing, if I'm correct, uh, also a full body stem cell treatment that actually show, shows indications of extending life and reversing aging. Is that correct? <laughs> Maybe yeah. reversing some of the effects of aging. Oh, there you go. Um, okay. And that's that's uh, that's our goal in uh, giving giving stem cells to people who are have signs of frailty of aging, which is a real thing. Uh, and 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 some people get offended when you say uh, something frailty of aging. I've had mm -hmm. I think colleagues of yours who got very offended when I use that term. Oh really? But well, but were you well? The reason we use that term, it's not to, because some of your colleagues are very fit. Mm -hmm. And so oh, the yeah. point is, they, they're offended when I say frailty of aging. Yeah. When you're 72 years old and you probably beat the heck out of, you know, 90% uh, of the 20-year-olds, then they don't, you don't feel yourself frail. Yeah. But yeah. what I'd like to compare, I'd like people to compare themselves to when they were when they were 25 years old. And certainly, even if you're uh, the best shape of your life, uh, uh, of anybody at 72, you're still not as powerful. Uh, you don't have, you know, your speed is not the same. That's right. Your vision is not the same I as agree. compared to a 25-year-old. So we do do a frailty of aging protocol here. Um, and uh, people, you know, have a wide array of benefits. We, we, there's, you know, there's a study out of the University of Miami where they use bone marrow cells for frailty of aging. And there's a sweet spot in the dose of cells. And we, that's something that we've been working on for a long time is the actual dose of cells. 
Um, and then the, the great thing about umbilical cord cells is we call them day zero cells because they're, they're taken from, you know, after birth, from a live healthy birth. Um, they're, and, and in order to get the, these MSCs in your body to, to reach skeletal maturity. So, you know, for a guy that's, you know, 14, 15 years old or 16 years old, in order to go from a baby to skeletal maturity, about 90% of the potentiality or the benefit of these cells, their ability to fix things, to secrete anti-inflammatory things, modulate the immune system, 90% of that's gone by the time you reach skeletal maturity. Mm, wow. And then it's you're using that, you're burning that last 10% for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the things that these cells secrete are able to reboot your immune system, they're able to stimulate regeneration of tissues that haven't had stimulation for a long time. And they're also very, they, they secrete things that are very potently anti-inflammatory. And those are the those are the kind of benefits we see is decreased pain, uh, increased mobility, uh, increased strength. We're real excited about the, the potential for uh, long, healthy life uh, using, you know, using the cells, the cell products. Um, I think it's the way nature intended. We're not doing anything. We're not, we're not doing any genetic engineering. We're not using embryonic stem cells. We're just taking what nature provided to us and we're, we're viewing nature, which, which of these cells are the best ones to treat with. We have a selection process for those cells. We let them grow in culture just naturally like they do in the, in the human body. And then we administer them and their cell products. And with the hopes of reversing chronic, re reversing chronic diseases and also uh, reversing some of the, the effects of aging. Well, yeah, you should be excited. Uh, all of you, I'm excited about what you're doing. It's, it's, it's beautiful because I agree with you. I mean, I'm almost 70. I consider myself in really good shape. I can, you know, hike. I just hiked the Grand Canyon a couple months ago. And, but yet, there's that factor, like you said. You know, I'm, I'm not as uh, fundamentally base strong as I was, say, when I was 25. And we have to face those certain realities. That's why I'm grateful for work that you're doing. And I think work like you're doing is also gives us an opportunity to live longer, like uh, both Kurzweil and Terry Grossman has said, live long enough to live forever until the next modality comes along, you know, that right. can do something even better for us. And, but it's great work you're doing, and I, and I appreciate it. Is there anything that, uh, uh, is there anything particular? Can you give us a little glimpse of what you're actually uh, going to introduce at RadFest, or is just a little bit of part of it already that you've you've said? I mean, is there something specific that you want to tell people and maybe why they should be at RadFest to hear what you've got, what you're bringing to the table? Well, I think one of the, one of the important things I'm going to talk about are chronic diseases because yeah. uh, you know you can talk about aging all you want, but uh, there's an exponential increase in chronic disease as we age. So exactly, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna address the therapeutic benefits of B cells for a number of chronic diseases, particularly autoimmune diseases. I'm gonna touch on, on, on some of the anti-tumor effects, anti-cancer effects of these cells. I'm gonna talk about cardiovascular risk. So, you know, cardiovascular and cancer are the two things that kill us more than anything else. Yeah, yeah. So if you wanna to look to the next level, you wanna make sure you're ahead of the curve on those things. And also just uh, talking about some of the other trials that we have going on. Uh, that, that increase the quality of life of people that have chronic diseases and, and some of the research studies that we've done. Well, beautiful. I mean, as you know yourself, and they call it the silver tsunami, people are living longer but not in great health. Their organs are failing. They're living longer because of, you know, different you know, pharmaceutical drugs, uh, et cetera, et cetera, but they're not living healthy. And so this is it. So to hear this news now that we can actually extend life and regenerate or rejuvenate our organs to a certain extent, I mean, it's just the best news in the world for people to get. So... Another good reason why people need to come and hear you, and, and this, this work is so crucial for all of us who want to extend life in a healthy manner. Because I know I run across myself, and you probably have, but the work I do, I'll tell people about you know, super longevity or whatever, and they'll go, oh, I don't want to live in some decrepit state a long time. And I'm saying, hey, right. we're not talking about living long in a decrepit state. We're talking about you know, being able to regenerate your body as you go along. So this is, this is fantastic yeah. news. Well, I, yeah, I really look forward to Radfest. Uh, I, I went, I went to the first one. I haven't, unfortunately, I haven't been back, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it because I was really inspired. There was so many good ideas that came across there, and the networking opportunity for me is fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to being there at uh, this one in September and uh, seeing a lot of old friends and more than that, meeting some really new cool people with some yeah. great ideas. That's yeah. Radfest. I think 
it's all about. Yeah, it is. It is. That's one of the things I love the best, too. I love the talks, but then I love what happens in between the talks, <laughs> all the interactions yeah. and so forth. Great interview. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay, great Appreciate job. It.